So today we will see about uh, encapsulation, inheritance, and uh, polymorphism with the demos. Right. So so I am not going over what are the definitions, but uh, generally uh, what encapsulation is like. Uh, hiding the data uh, I meant to say so if you want uh, something to be accessible but uh, yeah. we should not uh, uh, display it to the user so for example masked other cards uh, generally uh, in real time so similar to that uh, or for example uh, it contains data but we are not uh, displaying the total data so for example in real time or in a uh, real scenarios for example if you take a bag it can test multiple things like our mobile chargers and our uh, books so it will be hiding the data but uh, the uh, the bag is there but you don't know what is inside that so similarly in programming also uh, we know that uh, that data or variable should be there but we uh, we won't be uh, like a uh, we can't access it directly until unless uh, we have provided some methods to open it. So, for example, if you want to see what is inside our bag, you have to open the zip of the bag. So, similarly, it's like a method, uh, like opening of zip is a method in the bag. So, similarly, in uh, our uh, scenario, we will be giving like we will be giving the uh, that uh, declare that uh, variable as a method so this uh, yesterday we have already seen this so so i'm just taking uh, i will be going today to this website and we will see how it is creating so here yesterday we have defined normal variable so Oh, for to define Python how how to access this variable like a uh, like private accessor so there should be doubles double underscore we have to give so wherever the balance so by this uh, defining so we are saying that this is a private uh, variable you can't access it uh, like outside the program like outside this class you can say or other classes so when you are writing multiple functionalities so you don't want to change the balance that can be easily modified by other class when you implement inheritance so so generally this is the syntax so th there won't be any change uh, here uh, for example what we are but when you are using getter setter methods so remember so at that time uh, we will be uh, this private accessor mm -hmm. or encapsulation will uh, work so when we visualize so so now it's a class so it's like saying bank account class in that it's having all the functions like deposit function get balance function withdraw init function so we call it as methods so now it is saying uh, it's creating a bank account instance using this constructor method so it went to this constructor method what we discussed yesterday now it's like moving to the name so now the bank instance method is having like bank instance means object what we are creating account one is the object we are creating it's the instance of bank account class so now we are creating name so now it's like bank account balance so similarly now it, it will be creating another 
object so it's like uh, as today we refer to right uh, every it's uh, like opening of account in a bank so every time we don't need to open the account to do deposit or to do withdraw so it's a one-time activity so it's like the similar thing what we have created this object uh, it's a one-time activity in the program so and you can withdraw or uh, deposit uh, multiple times right you don't know to uh, again again create our own uh, bank account similarly in this also we don't need to create again the objects so we can use the same objects and the functionalities of that class so now it went here so deposit method we are calling so we, so it is saying so we have to the first account we have to deposit so it's like now the function we called so it's like done. so here we are not if you see this is a, a method so we are not returning any value in this method so it's saying return value is none so again it's going back to account 2 now we are withdrawing 600 we are trying to withdraw so it's going to print statement so now we are calling another methods so here the output what we got insufficient funds and we printed out so this is the print statement what we are given so it's like encapsulation again I am referring to this is the in Python how we uh, encapsulate any variable that should not be modified so this is the uh, way it's not like uh, we can modify this but it's not uh, a direct way so it should be indirectly modified using the methods so this is about in encapsulation now let's go back to inheritance so again uh, I meant to say so inheritance is like uh, so when we define one class like uh, for example so it's like mother and daughter in the real world uh, so I will be sharing the document as well so it's like few properties of mother comes to their daughter so similarly when like inheritance so when we inherit from one class to other class then that properties of that class will come to the second class so now uh, I will go back again so visualization so here uh, before going to that I am explaining so we have defined a class employee and that we are defining uh, two methods so it by default this is a constructor method we call it as in it constructor method so we are giving giving name and the salary for that employee so employee will be having salary and name that is by default 
so that's why we have to find both of them in construction method and then to display the salary of that employee we are defining another method get salary so it's like self cut so just we are displaying written salary now we are creating another ma class manager so in in an organization there are multiple managers so uh, like house department will have one manager like floor manager will be there and housekeeping department will having multiple managers so in a store for example like dmart uh, so there will be multiple multiple uh, supervisors managers so but all of them are employees under dmart so here what we are calling a class manager so in this again yeah. we are defining constructor method for this class and we are defining name salary department and here we are uh, using the C super keyword so we will uh, see more on super so it's like we are actually accessing whatever uh, we are defining here it will be go to this uh, main class so we inherit manager so what we are defining here it will go to the main class and the department is like it belongs to this class so under manager so for example so under group of managers uh, there will be their name and salary is there but again under all of their managers come under dmart so all of them are employees for dmart but there is another group so all of them will be under managers so similarly we will have another sales person so generally in dmart there are multiple sales persons right so for that sales persons uh, so again we are defining the same class we are inheriting so all of them are uh, employees under the same dmart but their group will be different so if it goes to sales person then again we are calling the same method so when we are uh, creating object with sales person so it will call the employee class and we are defining the same now now I am creating two objects with manager one with this manager class and I am giving the all the attributes I am passing the all the attributes like name John salary 30,000 like a department is housekeeping so again the salesperson I am creating another object so salesperson Jane salary 10,000 and uh, salaries so if you carefully observe so I am not defining this method in these two classes but I am calling I haven't created employee object but I have created manager object and salesperson object but I am calling the method in this class employee so it's like uh, we don't need to write again the same code so just if you inherit all the methods can be called from the another uh, class so uh, how how we are inheriting the class manager and we are giving this uh, employer right so this is like inherit class of from employee so when we do so employee class so manager class extends employee it's like so manager class is derived from the employee class So now it's like again sales person. Yes. Let me refresh it again. So maybe I have given some debugging points. That's why. Okay. So again, it's close to manager class now it created so stays person class 
now we are creating a manager instance so it's like manager object we are creating so we are storing all that objects now we will be creating salesperson instance so if you see like so the execution is going to here so if you see carefully observe when we are calling this super method the execution when we are creating this Jane so if we go back again so the execution is going to this employee main class when we are defining an object now I, again it came back to when we are uh, like defining sales so it's like saris something now so again if we are calling this method with that object so now we got the salary output similarly we got the out salary for manager and salesperson so in this uh, global front so we have defined employee class manager class salesperson class so if we carefully observe so employee class manager class salesperson class and manager one is the instance so that means object objects are instance of classes so that's why he, they define manager instance a salesperson the salesperson instance so this is very useful when you are doing the object to understand how the execution is going how the inheritance is working so when we call this this or this super method we call the the main class constructor method so again so there will be multiple uh, function methods we can define in main class and inherit we can use it so any questions the same I have given here so uh, now again uh, another simple another uh, polymorphism example so it's like uh, in real world what you can uh, take is like uh, uh, for example in a family there is a boy so he will be acting as a student in the school similarly he will be acting as uh, like a son in uh, in the family so when he is going to some game and he he might be the uh, captain so he will be acting as a captain so there the boy is not changing but the, the his uh, responsibilities will change so there will be sa the same boy who will be acting as a student in class uh, like a son in family and like a captain in the uh, game so similarly here uh, we can uh, actually have the same method name but the implementations will be different so similar the boy will be same but the implementation will be different so uh, like uh, for example uh, area so for different different shapes for example circle will be having different area like pi r square uh, area of square is like uh, uh, side square um, area of triangle is like half into length into breadth so we will take that uh, uh, example uh, here so it's like this time pop it here okay. 
again we will go to python tutor only so before running one by one again uh, we will just uh, go through the code what we have written so we are defining a uh, one class shape so and then we are uh, what we are defining we are defining a circle class and we have uh, inherited that from the shape class so and then we have given the default constructor so in the shape class there is no uh, we have written the area but we haven't uh, given any uh, attribute or any formula to return so it's just a dummy uh, a method we call, we call it so and we have not given any constructor here in the in the shape class but we are uh, defining constructor because constructor method in every uh, class because uh, depending on shapes uh, the input will change so for example circle will have radius and square will have side and triangle will have like base and height so here the same so if you see we have defined the same area like we have defined the same method but again the implementation is like we have returning pi r square so it's like pi value into self radius to the power so similarly it will have shape so we are having the same again the same method the name is same again we are like side square we are doing so again the triangle shape so here we, we are defining base and height so again self dot base dot height like half base into height so, it's like so this is how we define now what we are doing we are uh, defining a function here so and we are defining all the shapes in a list so here just uh, we are giving shapes so if we go go here so we are uh, creating a circle object a square object and a triangle object so we are not defining like uh, any variables like what we have defined earlier just we are creating the objects and we are just keeping it in a uh, one list so it's like oh, so just we defined area equal to for shape in shapes total area equal to increment method and we are just calling the get area method so here uh, so again here uh, what we are doing just we are calling the area method depending on the object types so it's like circle we will be calling uh, this method like uh, circles area method and square square area method and triangle triangle area method and just we are uh, totally uh, calculate area of shapes so if we do the execution similar way So now it is creating a shape class and the circle class extends shape and the square class again extends shape. So it's the function where get area. So we are calling three classes we have defined and uh, like three constructor methods. So the main class didn't have any constructor method before what we seen in. Uh, like inheritance example so now we have defined a calculate total function total area function 
now we are creating an circle instance like circle object it is saying shape is a list and a list has indexes 0 1 2 and in the first index the circle object in second index is square object and in the third index is triangle object so now it is calling total area calculate total area it called the function Total area is zero now. Then again, shape seems like it went to this method circle. So, if you carefully observe, so it went to the only class method. So, it has created now it went square method. the execution is completed because the loop was completed we have only three objects I got the output so if we again maybe we can multiple objects like uh, square of I'm just trying to execute. Okay, now you can just have 46 degrees. So now the total area went to 128. So again if you see there is now we have defined four so let's having four elements with indices 0, 1, 2, 3. The fourth element what I have defined is circle instance. So this is an example to understand polymorphism. So it's so the same method uh, we will be calling uh, there is no method name change but the implementation got changed. it for today so we have covered all the concepts basic concepts and the demos so let me know if any questions tomorrow we will see uh, some programming using <coughs> oops <coughs>